done. Um, so anyway, uh, um, when Lily and Ara came together, there was a huge burst of energy that came out in two different pulses. It was literally the creation of unicorn and dragon energy. Unicorn is stronger with, uh, with Lily, and dragon is stronger with uh, Ara, but they're both, um, uh, they both have both of them. Anyway, um, so when we went back down there, I made a body that was just about solid dragon energy. As I was doing this, <clears throat> excuse me, as I was doing this, Lily was doing the same thing. Our bodies were so powerful that when these philosopher looking things came at us again, we literally ripped them to pieces. They couldn't even bite through our skin. That's where the Drock race came from. Uh, to a lot of people, or actually it won't be a lot to some people, they'll think this is self-glorification or uh, whatever on my part. Folks, it is what it is, you know. I love everyone and I really don't, what you think about me doesn't matter. I mean, I have a job to do, I do what I do and I'm no better than nothing else, never have been, never will be. That's the way it should be. We're all like that. It just so happens that's what I am. That's where I came from, and that's why my I was made to serve and protect. So I do. Some of the doctors got off on that a while ago. It's like it's kind of strange in some ways. I said, yeah. Um, I had a battery of uh, psychiatrists, doctors, everybody look at me. Uh, inspect me. <laughs> um, I've done the quantitative electroencephalogram. Oh, by the way, I got a clean bill of health and everybody. I subjected myself to hell. There is no hell other than what happens when you're in a body. Um, but I did that to make a point. This quantitative electroencephalogram, it reads the brain waves that are inside your head. You know, it can actually, they're sensors. It's, it's, almost like, it's almost like a cap that they put on your head and it's like, um, or a net. And there's wires with sensors that read the electrical and the electromagnetic pulses coming out of your brain. And a really cool dude named Martin Perra out in uh, Sweden. Uh, he, uh, uh, I mean, he's outside of Sweden, whatever. Um, he, went, he went to uh, Sweden and went into this uh, um, office and they did a quantitative electroencephalogram. He paid for it out of his own pocket, man. Um, I s told him thanks and I gave him some nice stuff, but he, he just said, Jay, I'm gonna do this. You, you wanna do this? And I said, sure. Uh, so they did a, they, the lady in this lab, it's a regular lab, she does it for a living. She um, hooked this stuff up to him and then read everything. She's been doing this a long time, okay? She knows what she's doing. So. Uh, you can see some of it on the video. There's a video on thespiritualfoundation.com. It's uh, like an hour and 50 minutes. It's long. The video quality is not that good. This is done by me and Martin. This is not incredibly professional, but you can, it's good enough where you can see things happening. And then a printouts from the equipment. Uh, when my energy literally started messing with her equipment, and you know she basically had to do a reset on everything. Um, but they went. Um, she they did a control test on Martin's brain, okay, and then we got the readout on it. And then I went into him and I just cranked up his hypothalamus gland. That's all, just his hypothalamus gland. Didn't go into the pineal. You know, it, some of the energy goes off a little bit, but it was just a little bit extra energy. It was concentrated without hurting him on the hypothalamus. And when you see the change that it made, um, when you see the, the the pictorial graphs, his color graphs, his raw data. Um, when you see it, when it was normal, and then they did a test again, and I went into him. You see me doing it on video. Um, I was here, and he's in Sweden. Um, you see the results, um, and that's just his hypothalamus. That's not his whole brain. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. Um, uh, when I showed that to doctors, psychiatrists, and nurses, you know, as a matter of fact, the uh, human resource people or something. Um, they're just like, what the hell's going on? They watched me for a few days and they were just like, this guy's just different. Um, who's this old man in overalls? <laughs> they didn't call me old man. They just said man in overalls. I call myself old. I'm 61. I'm not young, but it's, it's my spirit that I'm talking about. 
anyway, um, I was I had to prove the point that this crank up thing is real. Um, I have to prove the point that who you really are inside is real. All of you have abilities. People talk about, you know, psychic. That word almost makes me want to puke. Um, I'm psychic. I can, for Pete's sake, everyone has metaphysical abilities. These are not a gift. These are part of you. So you want to do yourself a favor, help yourself wake up? Never call it a gift. It's part of you. It's part of what you are. Now, when you were released from the first being, the two first being halves and became yourself, that was a gift to be released from it. But everything after that, no. You are what you are. Those are your abilities. They own You own them. And the sooner you realize that and start using them, the stronger your metaphysical ability is going to be. You get cranked up, it just takes it through the roof. That's all. I, I don't mean... Don't, it, those of you, a lot of people have been told crap by all the... Everything on the other side has been lying to you except animals. Almost everything. Not everything. But almost everything on the other side has been lying to you except for animal essence. Um, so anyway... Uh, that's why I ask people to talk to their animal spirit guides. You all have a few of them. They're there all the time. Uh, animals are an incredible blessing to creation. They were created to be abused and beaten up, and they have been more than anything else, and they're being taken out of the bodies. So all, all these planets everywhere. There's over 4 trillion planets with life on them. Excuse me. Okay. Um, anyway... That's enough. Basically, what I was trying to do, although I, when I talk, there's so much to say that you don't you don't know. There's so many new people coming that you're not aware of yet. Okay, it's not like look, look how cool Jay is. Jay's not cool. I'm not. Look at me. Where's the cool? Ain't there. Where's the self glorification? Ain't there. I don't care. I don't want it. I can talk to millions of people at one time. Here, off planet, I can do not what I want, but I can do uh, uh, as much as I know I can. Uh, you know, whatever. Going into someone's brain and literally evolving it, and I'm already starting to prove I can do it. This is to the medical field. I've talked to a couple scientists, and they're just kind of like, don't know what to think. We want scientific proof. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. I'm getting the information. Just you know, deal with it. Throw it in the garbage can. I don't care. Um, but uh, they all go, hmm. Uh, anyway, um, that's to, it's to let you know who you are. Your, your spirit, sentient energy, that's in a body with another spirit having lives. But you have abilities. People say there's no such thing as psychic. Correct. There's no such thing as a psychic, but psychic. That's a crazy word. Metaphysical abilities. That's real. Oh, they don't exist. There's no such thing as metaphysical. Yeah, okay. What do you call the mother's intuition? Why were you driving down a road not knowing where you're going and you just went right instead of left and you, and you actually got there? You took two or three turns you didn't know and you actually got there. What happened? Whoa, 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 it's magic. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. That's also why I don't sing for a living. Because um, I can't. Um, Folks, this is part of who you are, a policeman, a soldier, or you. When you feel something on the back of your neck, and you feel like someone's watching, you turn around and there's someone watching, nine times out of ten. The other, the other tenth, the other ten percent, someone's watching, you can't see them. So, the more you understand that you have these abilities because they're part of you, you don't go shopping for it and buy it and put it in there. You don't go see a guru, spend twenty grand. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, when you start to trust your feelings, your images that you see in your head, uh, what you hear when your spirit guides, animal and all, talk to you. When animals talk to you, they talk to you like the most intelligent person you've ever talked to. Okay? As far as the fields of essence go, spirit, good luck finding something smarter than animal essence. And I'm including source, okay? Um, 
there is source that is, but not much. And that doesn't matter. I'm trying to make a point here about trusting your animal spirit guys going to find them. Um, but anyway, um, this is the Drock race. That's where they came from. The most powerful bodies that were ever made. They were made in the very beginning to make sure that they were stronger than anything else that existed anywhere. Well, guess what? They are. Their DNA was liter literally created by Ara and Lily to be what it is. That's why they're so powerful. Um, over all this time, uh, they've their bodies have been changed a little bit, but they're strong. They're strong. They were changed by the original first being male and female. And of course, those two are dead. Anyway, uh, that's how powerful they are. Now, the Federation, let's get into this. The Federation, so many people have said, oh, they come in peace, they come to help us. Uh, the Federation was, uh, uh, they had their own name, whatever, and it's, it sounds different. It's like a, it's pronounced differently, whatever name they want to use and whatever plant from, in whatever language on whatever planet um, the people are conversing with. Uh, when people talk from different planets, they have a screen in front of them. It shows the the auras, the energy that's in someone. It gives their name and information about it. They have uh, uh, a breakdown on their past lives, where they've been, and then you can actually see their energy live. And when someone gets really aggressive or someone starts lying, you, it's actually easy to start picking off. <laughs> Those are some of the, you know, screens and all that they have. Um, so anyway, uh, well, this Federation, there's been key players in the Federation that have, you know, um, certain planets that have material on them that are extremely valuable. Uh, a lot of planets need it for medicine, uh, wealth, um, very rare materials that are used in the synthesizers and stuff like that. Uh, these trip chairs, same thing. Trip chairs, you, you know what they were made for? They were, you know, when you get in trip chair, the uh, energy field comes out, it reads your DNA, and it amplifies your own personal energy. Um, the reason why those chairs were made, the people that made them, I remember that life, in those bodies, very different. Um, if you say you have an airport and a plane's flying far away, if you have a spaceport and ships are going way out in the universe, there's no way to connect. You can connect through energy fields that are everywhere, but there's and the satellites, different planets, and everything where they keep it going. Like you want to talk about a world wide web, folks, what they have is incredible. Um, but there's limits. So when you go beyond that, or even when you're out there, you, they needed a way to communicate. So each ship would have at least one. Uh, for certain regulations, it's like mandatory. But usually you have to have two of them. Usually you want to have two of them. And then in a, in a spaceport, there's a machine in the middle, and then there's a broken circle going around it and a few layers out where there's different people that go in there. Okay, and then they go in the trip chairs and they just relax. They open up, let themselves flow out everywhere, and they just relax to wait to hear stuff. And um, if you go out in a starship and you go out somewhere, you have a problem, uh, something, you, you crash, something like that, whatever, um, you run out of fuel, so, you know, something breaks down. Uh, if you crash, you tear out the, t totally tear apart the, uh, um, uh, the uh, chair, then you got a problem. But there's also an energy output built in a chair, like a safety thing. But let's not even go there. Let's just talk about the chair for a minute. You get in that chair and you relax, turn it on. It, it increases your power level, usually about seven times. And you just go outwards. And then you go back to the, you just think about the uh, spaceport and then you're there. And then a few of the people there will pick that up. And you say, here I am, I need help. This is the problem. Um, 
and then some something they immediately find the nearest port to you if they talk to them from their uh, spaceport group to the other space uh, spaceport group that's closest to you whatever they get you help as, as soon as possible um, people talk about trip chairs they don't even understand why they're called trip chairs um, but that's why um, anyway uh, they're important they're, they can also be used for healing they're important that's what they were made for of course got to turn it into a weapon right like the NSA Anunnaki CIA have a few chairs um, anyway uh, so these planets that have important stuff for everyone else um, they were the largest part, largest receiver of funding money that came back from the Federation. This Federation of Planets, quote unquote, um, that was like, <laughs> like the United Nations or some other joke like that. Um, the philosophy behind a group called the United Nations is a good idea, but what we have for the United Nations is a joke. It's so corrupt. But anyway, uh, so this federation, <clears throat> excuse me, of planets uh, uh, had some key members, and they got more money from the federation than anyone else. How did the federation get money? Uh, well, they can impose taxes and stuff. Everybody has to put in to keep this going. You know, it's like paying taxes for good roads. It's no problem. The taxes got a little higher. When people want to come to the earth and mine take some gold and silver and stuff out, you went to them. You said, I want to go to the earth. I want to go into this section, and I want to take this out of it. They said, okay, a permit to do that will cost this much. And then that money goes to the Federation, and then the Federation, the main people involved, the, the people that had the most and everything else, the biggest benefactors behind it, they got large part of that money okay plus um, everything they sold to the other planets they got money off of that so they don't like this new alliance that was made this new alliance is um, uh, literally all the planets coming together and who's back in that the drock the antids of the second race to be created incredibly powerful to ear raag naag their antids there's the serpatian race um, they're, they're in the largest uh, um, facility on the moon. Uh, this uh, solid rock people are calling a planet uh, Nibhu, uh, Nibiru, or something like that. That's some heavy props. It's like a C-130 heavy cargo. Anyway, um, uh, they, they, I'm being talked to. Um, C-130 is used to move heavy amounts of uh, material from one end to the other. They can take tanks and stuff, okay? Well, that's basically what just happened. The Drock went to these planets. Oh, I'm being told to hurry up, move along. The Drock went to these planets. Um, and uh, took large amounts of supplies, most of what they had, away from them. Because they literally told everyone else that needed their stuff, for, especially for health, you know, hospitalization and everything else, they said they would no longer sell to them. So, and the Federation said, this new alliance of planets, screw y'all. Anyone that belongs to that, we're not going to allow you to receive any help from, it, from these large planets. Uh, the Drock and the Antids, which is the second most powerful race here, uh, anywhere, in the physical realm or third dimension. Um, they're the ones that back it, plus Source backs it. Source is running stuff, the new Source. Oh, well, they're old, but, you know, Lily our Source. So, uh, uh, when he quit selling everyone else, and then raise the prices with other folks. Um, they're trying to control everyone's lives. 
that's not allowed. Uh, some people say some bad things about the drug. Um, they are some of the most beneficial, um, compassionate, but powerful beings there, there are. I mean, they're, they're the most powerful race there is. Anyway, uh, so that's what the meeting was, uh, January 29th, very early in the morning. Um, and then January 30th, um, there's four planets that ne needed to be dealt with. And when the Federation pulled this plug, uh, you know, said pull the plug on it, none of you can have this. Then after the meeting was had, what to do, the decision was made and uh, uh, the drop went to four planets uh, on the 31st uh, in the morning, yesterday morning, uh, 5.31 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S. One planet was attacked, uh, 5.34. Um, uh, another planet was attacked, uh, 7.28 a.m. This is all a.m. Uh, yesterday morning. Uh, a third planet was attacked, and the fourth one, they already knew what was going to happen, so they didn't, they just literally opened up and said, here, and they didn't get hit hard whatsoever, but uh, their stuff was, that they have, most of what they had was removed, and the jock told them, you will sell to the other people, you will sell to them. Not take you know, there's, no one's going to be allowed to do that. Uh, aggressive, yes, uh, but trying to starve people by not giving them uh, what they need for their replicators and everything else. Um, that being done to spe specifically going against this new alliance, which the draw and ant is back up. Um, yeah, it's not going to be allowed. I've said this stuff for years. This new alliance, uh, that, that's the way of everything in creation, it's changing. The whole format's changing. Um, should they be um, compensated for what they offer? Yes. This one time, no. That planet made a stand against the, the alliance. The Federation is being torn down. So, uh, anyway... I wanted to put it out yes put this out yesterday, but I couldn't because I was getting slammed so hard. So that's what's going on with that. Uh, now where does that go from here? The Federation tries to kick it up another notch and they're just gonna be dismantled. The drug power shields that protect them are so strong. You can shoot missiles, bullets, particle beams, anything you want. Nothing's gonna get through except another drug weapon. Antids are incredibly powerful too. They're the ones that are liberating this planet, nice and slow. And the three Drak uh, scout ships. That they're like scout ships, but they're fighters. And, but they use the scouts often. But three of them landed in Alaska. I put that video out a little while ago. And they literally just beam down into where they have the subway system, where they have those tunnels and capsules. Uh, they have it's like generators. I don't know what to call them. Um, and there's sensors and activators that that, uh, um, um, that maintain a certain field. It's a magnetic field inside this, these tunnels. And then they have little power units along the way. Um, these capsules fly through, you know, through these tunnels. I mean, fast, very fast. Well, the whole bunch of us, the bunch of them is like a nexus that comes together and basically the southeastern section of... Uh, Alaska, and uh, from to take the main body of it, the southeastern part of it, that literally got taken out. These three drac went down there, and they literally, uh, they, they were being shot at by the problematic Anunnaki are cool. The ones here are very problematic. They've been running this planet for a little over 10 million years. Um, the main force here for the last 10 million plan, uh, 10 and a uh, little over 10 million years. Um, but they've been running it for over 9 million. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, hurry, hurry, hurry. Um, huh. thank you. Um, anyway, uh, so, uh, uh, 
the reason I brought that up, they were shooting at them. We got nothing. You know, there's this whole rail system that got taken out. Not rail, a tunnel, capsule tunnel, transportation system. It got taken out. The, the Anunnaki, the problematic Anunnaki here on this planet are being crippled. Okay? Um, they'll be starved out, and it's, this is all going to happen with the least amount of damage to the planet, to the people. And there's something coming up. That's in San Francisco. You'll see it. You'll find out about it. It's not too far from now. Anyway, um, the, this federation, everybody was saying is so loving, malevolent, and everything. Uh, it's being taken out. For these people that have been saying this, the vast majority of them, there's nothing wrong with them. They're, they're, you know, they're getting information that's wrong. And they did not get it from their animal spirit guides. They don't lie. Okay? You can ask your animal spirit guide, when am I going to meet this person when, you know, the future? What? Hey, folks, let me tell you something. The future is always being changed. What's running the future right now? It's not one person. It's not one set thought process. It's multiples, and they're trying to do a good job, and no one's ever done this before. No one's ever run lives except the original first being male and female until they were destroyed, uh, May of uh, uh, 2013. So things are screwy. Uh, but they're a whole lot cleaner, and it's about to get better. Excuse me. So, um, the drug have very quietly, without de declaring war or anything, said, no mas, no more. That's it. Fini. Um, and then from now on, these planets will sell at the regular price to everyone. Alliance or not. And if they don't, they'll get another visit. Folks, sometimes it takes force to bring things, to bring in a new age. Extreme force that's over abusive? No, they didn't attack. They could blow these planets up. They went in with hardly firing a shot. They take out, when, when they got shot at, the, the um, equipment couldn't, their armament from the planet couldn't even hurt them. But then they blew up the armament, took it out and everything. They did as much, they always do as much as they can without hurting anything. Um, it's done in a permanent way. It, it's done uh, com as co compassionately, caring as possible. But it's done. There's so much stuff happening that uh, you all are going to become more and more aware of soon. And uh, these videos I put out um, explaining what other people see, like Tyler down at the Secure Team 10, he's important to what's going on. He's got all kinds of information being sent to him. People are literally told, go out here, take, because hurry up, get your camera, look. And then people look up, and all of a sudden, there it is. It's like people see 11 11 on the clock, 40, 44. That's telling you, you know, that's a spiritual note, that's information, okay? Um, uh, the basic part of numerology and stuff. I think I've got that somewhere. Uh, I know I've got it in video, but I, I think I might have listed it somewhere on a website or something. But uh, that's the that's you getting message. Um, you can also read license plates to get the message when they go by. But that's, I'll go there later, maybe. Um, anyway. Uh, It's time for all this to happen. What's been controlling your lives that's abusive is dead. Uh, there's chaotic behavior, not chaos, but chaotic behavior on the other side because it's not coordinated yet. It will be soon, this year, okay? In the meantime, um, this gentleman, Tyler, from Secure Team 10, um, I think it's Secure Team 10, um, He's being fed, these people are being told when to get information, and they're told to go to him. So you're going to see a lot of good stuff there. It would literally take someone on the console page of the spiritualfoundation.com to see this and tell you what's going on. Okay, there's a couple others that aren't on there, but basically speaking, that's what it is. Uh, it takes a lot of power to see through these bodies. And source is the strongest stuff there is. No better than nothing else. No better than shoelace. But it is very, very strong shoelace. That's all. Um, <sighs> the 
these videos, when they when they're brought to my attention, I look at them, and because, excuse me, my family members see it, and then they, th and then they tell me about it. I look at it and put out what it is, and uh, what's going on. And when I leave, these folks are going to do do this for you. But instead of just one, there'll be a lot more. Um, and that explains what's going on. I'm going to put out an offer to uh, Tyler to crank him up uh, for free if he wants it. And just thanking him, too, for taking that stuff and putting it on video. He's got good heart. He's strong solar plexus and spirit. Um, he's important to what's going on, just like Corey Good, uh, like so many of you. Uh, there's an incredible group of warriors on this planet that are compassionate. They have an incredible fortitude, and they're here to help bring in a new era. The one that is of, about, and part of creation's new freedom. Simple. So anyway, um, If you listen to the videos about that, I'm going to try to put a page in the spiritualfoundation.com that has to do with ETs, extraterrestrial stuff. Um, I take what has been sent to him and I tell you what it is, what's actually happening. The Allurian folk that are here, they're literally going to help us uh, um, take this planet back, you know, um, to bring it back to life. Um, the growing new crops, uh, their, their equipment can literally uh, uh, clean uh, nourish uh, water, plant fields of barren soil just by one ship as it slowly moves over it and then goes back again uh, you know and they, they, they come from solar systems, galaxies far away and they come over here to do this for us for how much? what's the price tag? Zippo why? because they're cool that's why, because they're compassionate loving beings. The Allurian are incredible. Serpolian, what we call the Greys, they're awesome. Okay? Um, if you look at the spiritualfoundation.com, if you um, uh, get the books, read them, to get, to get a basic foundation of what's going on and why, why it's been happening, and then, uh, uh, then you get the video, then look at the videos, get the information, whatever, do it any way you want. Um, and then look at what's going on in space. I show you. I told you about the draw coming here, about, you know, putting uh, this whole solar, most of, well, most of the solar system is just past Mars, I guess. It's, uh, most of, Earth is the, the one that's, had, that's got the vast majority of life on it, and then you get past Mars, and then it's not as much happening. So when I said most of the solar system, I wasn't talking about uh, area dimension I was talking or circumference whatever I was talking about activity living beings so uh, uh, and then I told you that there was going to be a war that people try to get in and out and be inter interdimensional going through that dimensional barrier I said you'll see them getting shot out of the, out of the sky so what happens boom NASA says hey we, we never saw this thing we couldn't track it and they're talking about the uh, "Quote unquote asteroid in Hungary that came down and all of a sudden it made almost a 180 degree turn. It was a fireball. When it when all of a sudden poof, you can first see it. It comes out and a star drive literally comes off of it, and then it it it, it had an explosion. It blew up, but the energy was linear. The explosion was linear. You can see it. Uh, uh, another one uh, in Australia. Uh, this is all pretty recent. Uh, in Australia, there was a uh, uh, a meteor that came in that was small it wasn't going as fast as it should have been and when it hit the ground it, it hit in the sea and it caused some issues but it, it was not what it should have been for the size that it was it was not what it should have been um, and NASA said we never saw it we tracked it nowhere Folks, do you know how many satellites go around this planet that NASA owns or has access to? What about the Hubble scope? You think it's not going to see something coming? Yellow. 
and to interdimensionally they messed with the drog. The drog shrunk that, just compressed that. It's an implosion. So as soon as the uh, vehicle is imploded, it can't maintain interdimensional uh, uh, drift or, you know, propulsion. So it drops down here to the third dimension from the barrier between the third and second. So. Anyway. Uh, in the second dimension, nothing can get in there. Nothing. There's reason for that. And that's not for now. But anyway, uh, that's a... Uh, I'm trying to explain to you what's going on so you have it. So you know. Folks, look at me. Look at what's around me. This house is a mess. It's pretty clean, but it's, you know, as far as not being dirty, but it's still a mess. I mean, it's it's insane. I have so many stones, so much other stuff. and I have a lot of health issues. I can't move stuff around. I got degenerative joint disease. I've got two forms. I've got COPD and CLLI, chronic lower lung infections, uh, all, uh, all kinds of other stuff. And this is no poor little Jay. Screw that. I can't wait to get out of here. Uh, I know what I am. I'm anxious to be home. But, uh, you know, uh, it's time for all this stuff to happen, and you just need to know. The Eulerian and the Saponian are involved, too. Um, are going to help us bring new, a new crop here, plus be able to grow food every, just about everywhere. Um, and uh, this new these plants that they have, you take them and you, you, you grow them, then you put them in these synthesizers, what a lot of people call food replicators, and you get all kinds of good food. And it's all plant. Okay, no animals. Animals are leaving. I told you animals are going to leave. Okay, I told you that um, February of 2015. I told you years before that, but I mean, 2015, I knew I needed to remind you that the animals are going to start leaving in mass. And uh, March 31st, it went on the internet that half the world's population of Sega antelope just died. They said within a two-week period or something, whatever. That's they all died at the same time, just within 24, 48 hours of each other. They were all dead. They're back, and then they don't. They say they don't know what's going on. This ain't that months. So I, I got on there and done a video somewhere, and I said their bacteria was turned against them. The bacteria was mutated so that it would attack them instead of uh, uh, protect them. And the way it's done, the body slows down, and it, it just gets a little sicker and then dies. It's it, it's completely painless. It's made to be painless. Because it's done by loving spirit, it's time for the animal. The anim, animal essence said, "We want out of these bodies," and Ara said, "You got it. It's going to happen anyway." That's one reason I was very anxious to leave. Why well, am to finish that? But it's already happening. They're being taken out. All this stuff is information for you. Why do I tell you that I told you? Here it is. Come get it. I'm telling you where it's at. Okay. So. I'm no better than a mud puddle you, you step in. doesn't matter. can't hurt me. Um, it's important for you to find out who you are. The things that you can do that you're not even aware of. How to develop that. What else is around you in space? The fae that are here right underneath us in slightly lower dimensions. Um, I've explained how dimensions are created, the barriers and everything else. Um, I'm leaving you the information, all the information I possibly can that I know will help you become yourselves and awaken. When you start seeing these large beings, some of them are insectoid, some of them more like uh, amphibious, some more like fish, uh, a lot of them are humanoid like us, uh, reptilian, dragon, you need to know what's going on. Your abilities, when you awaken them, you can start talking with them before they ever get here. And then when you see them, it's not as big a thing. The blue avians, 
they were actually the antids. So, uh, and, and I've put out videos, if you put an antid for a search on the J. Essex channel, then you'll, you, you should find them. So anyway, uh, I need to leave you all alone and get going, but uh, the drug don't mess around, folks. And this federation has been abusing us for the longest time. This federation, I'm talking about the um, the okay to, you know, the permit to take minerals and stuff on the planet. They get, they give away licenses, permits to come here and take you, take your DNA, cut out, cut up animals for their own little scientific studies or to get a mineral inside different animal uh, bodies, that different organs and whatever, uh, different minerals they use for something else. So, some of it is trying to synthesize meat. Also has to do with uh, mutating um, animals. Um, some of the stuff is, goes on in this planet, but it's worse than others. That's being brought to a stop too. But the animals are leaving anyway. You need to have a source of information that's not a bunch of bullshit. How else do you learn? Go to a public school? <laughs> yeah, that'll help. It, it, it'll, it's better than not doing anything, but uh, they're so full of crap. Agenda, agenda everywhere. Anyway, folks, look. Um, I do this so you have the information, okay? Um, and if you want to enhance the soft evolution that's going on everywhere through the field, it's part error. Um, it's not error, it's a part of them. A little part. Um, just go to the spiritualfoundation.com and uh, uh, my consults with the free energy work, they're like 45 minutes. They, they always run a little over, but depends on how much time I have. They're expensive. They're $800. But the other family members do it, you know, a whole lot cheaper. And if one of them cranks you up, folks, you get cranked up. Period. Uh, we save animals. We do. We're, we're here for everyone and everything. Shouldn't we be? For myself and my family, the answer is yes. For me personally, yes. I have serious protection issues. Sometimes you can pick that off. Everything is paramount to me. I'm I'm part of this creation. I'm something outside of it, though. Um, all I want to do is everything I can for everyone. I've proven that all my life. I have the financial records to prove it. <laughs> the lawyers are proving it. Uh, folks, I love you, man. Uh, whatever you want to do, fine. As long as you don't get abusive towards others or try to stop the new awakening from happening, you'll never be hurt. You just do whatever you want. Times are changing. They're going to change and nothing can stop it. The strongest thing there is anywhere, and it's been like this for a long time, is Ara. And he doesn't give a damn about himself. But everything else, it means everything to him. And Lily is the same way. It's like having a big brother and a big sister that all they care about is taking care of you. So it's not a bad thing. Everything's changing for the better. But I told you the friends from space so the animals were leaving, they did. I told, well, they have been. <clears throat> it happened, is what I'm trying to say, and it's going to continue. You'll see that strong very soon. Still happening now. Um, anyway, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I told you our friends are coming in from out of space. They are. They're going. It's coming out everywhere. I told you about the war, what happening, boom, here they come. Uh, again, there's no whoopee J here. There's look, listen, see. Try to understand what's going on. Try and understand the validity of the information I give you. Why? So you can 
promote yourself so you can become more aware so you can have a little faith in something that actually doesn't want to take anything from you if that people say Jay you can crank people up you should do it for free really you could I've got degenerative joint disease my body's falling apart um, I, I'm I've been I'm not crippled but uh, um, I'm handicapped I can't hardly even stand for 20 seconds um, however I just give away all this money <laughs> the money comes in it goes right out to everyone else plus making sure that uh, the spiritual foundation .com stays here to help you and it's gonna nothing will stop it this is about everything everywhere finally being free but it's about you having the opportunity the ability especially which increases as you increase your personal metaphysical abilities which are already part of you to enhance yourself life understand it the stronger you are the easier it is to understand things why not make the best decision you can by becoming more you it's already part of you why not open that door it's like having a right and left arm you don't use your left arm why I don't know folks love you man take care just keep going